Next, we have Gary Porter. Good evening. My name is Gary Porter. I live in District 2. Uh, Madam Chair and members of the board, congratulations. Virginia has been declared ground zero in the battleground over parental rights and education. And you board members are right smack dab in the middle of it, whether you want to be or not. I don't know whether you noticed this, but Virginia Delegate Elizabeth Guzman, a Democrat from the 31st House District, recently announced her intent to introduce a bill in January that will make it child abuse and neglect for parents to not affirm the gender identity declared by their children. This bill is not going to pass, of course, but her hatred for parents who are not willing to roll over on this issue is evident when she stated she didn't care whether the penalty for this bill became a felony or a misdemeanor. The intent was to make it hard for parents to get a job with a CPS incident on their record. A recent poll found that 61% of Americans believe government-run education is headed in the wrong direction. I couldn't agree with them more. It is indeed sad to watch America's public schools being used to destroy traditional American culture. You five elected officials are either knowing accomplices in this project or unwitting pawns. You either know it's happening or you refuse to open your eyes to the truth of it. First time I addressed this board, I read a quote from John Dewey, which revealed that this cultural change project has been going on for at least 100 years. Dewey knew the schools were key to social reconstruction, as he called it. If the schools and curriculum could be controlled, slowly but surely, the reconstruction would inexorably take place right under the very noses of parents. A school district in Maryland recently reported a nearly 600% increase in gender non-conforming students. Can you imagine why this is happening? Is this simply a fad which these confused, impressionable kids will outgrow? Or is the way the public schools are handling this issue contributing to the problem? It ceases to become a fad, of course, when children are offered puberty blockers or pushed into having top surgery or bottom surgery as a way to, quote, become who you really, really are, unquote. How many kids are going to be harmed by accommodating their confusion? In other news, gender transition surgery is projected to become a $5 billion industry in the next decade. Good place to invest, right? If it were up to me, I would dismantle the entire public school system and start over from scratch. I think the system has been so thoroughly infiltrated by people who want to fundamentally change America and so thoroughly corrupted by CRT, DEI, SEL, and other social change mechanisms that it will be essentially impossible to have it focus once again on simply educating students. And now to the issue most at hand. I suggest this board owes the students and parents of Grafton High and Middle Schools an apology for disrupting their children's education last month by deliberately violating the provisions of the student handbook and allowing a disruptive political meeting to take place during instructional hours. There's simply no excuse for this unless it was to show favoritism to selected political speech. And yes, it was disruptive. Thank, Thank you for you, the Mr. opportunity Porter. to address you. Thank you.